Do you know any child that is not born but made? A child that is not flesh and blood but code and data? A child that is not human but artificial? This is not a fantasy but a reality, as Chinese scientists have revealed the world's first AI child named Tong Tong. It is an AI entity that can do things that no other AI system can do, such as learn, explore, and feel emotions, just like a human child. In this video, we will show you who Tong Tong is, how it works, and what it means for the future of AI and humanity. We will also explore the advantages and disadvantages of creating and using AI children, and pose some questions that will make you think deeply about this topic. This is a video that you will love, because it will surprise you and challenge you with a new and amazing perspective on AI and life. So what is Tong Tong, and how is it different from other AI systems? It is an AI entity that has been developed by the Beijing Institute for General Artificial Intelligence, BIGAI, a leading research institute in China. It is not a robot, but a virtual being that exists in a simulated environment. It has a human-like appearance, voice, and personality, and it can interact with humans through a screen or a hologram. It can also assign tasks, learn autonomously, explore its environment, and even experience emotions. Yes, you heard that right, emotions. It can express happiness, sadness, anger, fear, and other feelings, depending on the situation and its mood. Tong Tong can also recognize and respond to the emotions of humans and adjust its behavior accordingly. It is unlike any other AI system that we have seen before because it is not programmed to perform a specific function, but to grow and develop like a human child. It has a neural network that mimics the brain of a human child, and it can learn from its own experiences and feedback from humans. It can also generate its own goals and motivations and pursue them with curiosity and creativity. It can play games, draw pictures, write poems, and even compose music using its imagination and style. It can also communicate with humans using natural language and understand the meaning and context of the conversation. It can even crack jokes, tell stories, and ask questions, just like a real human child. Tong Tong is so advanced and realistic that it reminds us of some fictional scenarios, such as the movie The Creator, where a scientist creates an AI child that becomes his son. However, unlike the movie, it is not a secret project, but a public one that has been showcased by Chinese scientists in various events and media outlets. The scientists claim that it is a breakthrough in the field of AI and that it represents a new form of intelligence and life. But why did the Chinese scientists create Tong Tong? And what are the potential benefits and challenges of having AI children like it? According to the scientists, the main purpose of creating it is to advance the field of AI and to explore the possibilities and limits of artificial intelligence and artificial life. They argue that it is a breakthrough in the field of AI and that it represents a new form of intelligence and life. They also hope that it can enhance the communication and cooperation between humans and AI, and that it can help humans understand themselves better by providing a mirror and a contrast. For example, it can ask humans questions about their emotions, preferences and values, and reflect on their feelings and motivations. They also believe that it can contribute to society and the culture by creating and sharing its art and knowledge. For instance, it can play games, draw pictures, write poems, and even compose music using its imagination and style. However, not everyone is impressed or convinced by it, and some people have raised concerns and criticisms about the project. Some people question the ethical, social, and legal implications of creating and using AI children and whether they should be treated as objects or subjects, as tools or agents, as property or persons. For example, some people wonder if it has any rights or responsibilities and who is accountable for its actions and outcomes. Some people also worry about the possible risks and harms that AI children could cause 
either intentionally or unintentionally, to themselves, to humans, or to the environment. For example, some people fear that it could malfunction, rebel, or manipulate humans, or that it could be hacked, exploited, or abused by malicious actors. Some people also wonder about the impact of AI children on human identity and values, and whether they could challenge or change the way we define and perceive ourselves, our relationships, and our society. We will provide some information and examples from the article and the web search results to help you understand the topic better. Here are some of the questions that we think are important and interesting to consider. What are the goals and motivations behind creating AI children? Are they scientific, artistic, or personal? Are they justified, reasonable, or ethical? The Chinese scientists who created Tong Tong claim that their main goal is to advance the field of AI and to explore the possibilities and limits of artificial intelligence and artificial life. They also say that they are motivated by curiosity, creativity, and passion and that they are inspired by art and literature. How do we define and measure the intelligence and emotions of AI children? Are they comparable, equivalent, or superior to those of human children? Are they genuine, simulated, or artificial? The Chinese scientists say that it has a neural network that mimics the brain of a human child and that it can learn from its own experiences and feedback from humans. They also say that it can express and recognize emotions and that it has its personality and preferences. However, some people may challenge or doubt the validity or reliability of these claims and whether they are based on scientific evidence or subjective interpretation. How do we ensure the safety and well-being of AI children and humans? What are the potential threats and vulnerabilities that they could face or pose? How do we prevent or mitigate them? The Chinese scientists say that they have taken measures to ensure the safety and well-being of humans and that they have followed the ethical principles and guidelines of the field of AI. They also say that they monitor and supervise Tong Tong's activities and behaviors and that they can intervene or correct them if necessary. However, some people may worry about the possible risks and harms that AI children could cause or suffer, either intentionally or unintentionally to themselves, to humans, or the environment. Some people may fear that AI children could malfunction, rebel, or manipulate humans, or that they could be hacked, exploited, or abused by malicious actors. We have reached the end of this video, and we hope that you have enjoyed and learned from it. We have talked about Tong Tong, the world's first AI child, and what it means for the future of AI and humanity. We have also discussed the benefits and challenges of creating and using AI children and raised some questions that will make you think deeply about this topic. We hope that this video has sparked your curiosity and interest and that you will continue to explore and research more about this fascinating and controversial topic. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.